Greetings! Viteran Coins welcomes you. I'm here to share with you some facts regarding the 1945 Mercury Dime Full Band, FB Business Strike. Due to its historical significance and scarcity, collectors highly value the 1909S VDB Lincoln Cent, which is one of the most well-known and sought-after coins in American numismatics. The intriguing past of this coin further heightens its allure. Victor David Brenner, the coin's creator, placed his complete name to the reverse at the bottom of the 1909S VDB wheat cent, hence its name. However, the head engraver at the time altered this by adding the designer's initials in its place. However, Brenner's initials being placed prominently on the reverse of the coin caused a lot of controversy because some felt that this was illegal advertising and that the positioning was anything but inconspicuous. Workers at the Mint completely deleted the VDB initials from all ensuing 1909 coins in an effort to calm the commotion. Therefore, only 484,000 Lincoln wheat pennies bearing the VDB initials were struck by the San Francisco Mint that year. The remainder mintage was devoid of the mintage. Collectors flocked to accumulate huge amounts of VDB coins due to their limited mintage, which immediately generated interest in them. Here is a thorough description of this priceless numismatic asset. Background. The 1909S VDB Lincoln Cent, which debuted the Lincoln Cent series and replaced the venerable Indian head cent design, is particularly significant in the annals of numismatic history. On the face of the coin is a picture of President Abraham Lincoln, while on the reverse are images of wheat stalks. Designer. The initials VDB stand for Victor David Brenner, who designed the coin. They are situated beneath the wheat stalks at the bottom of the coin's reverse side. Brenner's initials were controversial when they were added, and they were removed later in 1909. Mintage. The California San Francisco Mint minted the 1909S VDB Lincoln Cent. With only 484,000 pieces produced, it had a lower mintage than other Lincoln Cents from the same era. Its scarcity and collector's desire are partly attributed to the limited mintage. Composition. 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc make up the 1909S VDB coin, similar to other vintage Lincoln cents. It weighs about 3.11 grams and has a diameter of 19 millimeters. Value, a 1909S. VDB Lincoln cents worth fluctuates according to certain elements like demand from collectors, quality, and rarity, especially those with crisp details and their pristine mint sheen coins in uncirculated condition or mint state, fetch the greatest values. This coin's historical significance means that even circulating examples can command high premiums. Due to its historical significance as the inaugural year of the Lincoln Cent series and its connection to the coin's designer, Victor David Brenner, collectors greatly prize the 1909S VDB Lincoln Cent. Coin aficionados and numismatists take great delight in owning a well-preserved example of this coin. Acquiring a 1909S VDB Lincoln Cent requires authentication by reliable third-party grading agencies because of the coin's high value and the existence of counterfeit examples. In order to assist collectors in making well-informed selections, professional grading offers verification of the coin's authenticity and assigns a grade based on its condition. Due to collectors hoarding huge quantities of these pieces, as soon as they were placed into circulation, 1,909S VDB wheat pennies are incredibly uncommon today, with very few found in circulating condition. VDB Red, 1,909S. The most valuable pennies are Lincoln cents, which may sell for up to 16,800. However, at a price range of $10,000 to $19,200, these coins are just as precious in brown and red-brown hues. To sum up, the 1909S VDB Lincoln Cent is a legendary coin in American numismatics, prized for its longevity in collector's collections, historical relevance, and rarity. This legendary coin never fails to capture the interest of numismatists worldwide, whether it is used as the focal point of a collection or as a highly valued item. That's all I have to say for now. I sincerely hope you find the training useful. Please remember to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Your support much aids in our ability to bring you more high-quality content. Until next time, I'm going to give you some facts on the Wheat Penny 1914D today. Among Lincoln Wheat scent collectors, the 1914D Wheat Penny is one of the most prized and valued coins.
This is a detailed description of this valuable coin. Background. The Lincoln Wheat Cent series, which was produced between 1909 and 1958, has two wheat stalks on the reverse and an image of President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse. The Denver Mint in Colorado is where the 1914D wheat penny was struck. Mintage. In comparison to previous dates in the series, the 1914D Lincoln cent had a comparatively low mintage. In 1914, the Denver Mint produced about 1,193,000 coins, which makes them rarer and more sought after by collectors. Key date. Aside from other low circulation issues, the 1914D Lincoln cent is regarded as a crucial date in the series. Its collectability and great value are a result of its scarcity. Condition. Rarity. Higher grade specimens of the 1914D wheat cent are regarded as condition rarities. Uncirculated specimens are highly valued by collectors since many surviving specimens exhibit wear and circulation. Composition. The 1914D currency is made up of 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc, same like other Lincoln wheat cents from the same era. It weighs 3.11 grams and has a 19 millimeter diameter. Value. A 1914D wheat cents worth varies according to its condition, rarity, and collector's demand. Uncirculated coins are more valuable because of their scarcity and attractiveness. The coin's value is mostly dependent on whether it still has some of its original mint brilliance and shows little to no wear. Interest from collectors. The 1914D wheat penny is highly sought after by collectors because of its scarcity and significance as a pivotal date in the series. For numismatists and enthusiasts, possessing a well-preserved example of this coin is a source of pride. Coin collectors are quite interested in the 1914D wheat cent, which is one of the rarest wheat cents with a mintage of about 1.2 million. As you can see, the 1914 Denver cent is extremely rare, considering that the Philadelphia Mint collected approximately 70 million wheat pennies in that same year. Make sure you have an actual coin if you come across what seems to be a 1914 wheat cent with a D mint mark. Because of its scarcity and collector's desire, this coin is easily counterfeited. Your 1914D wheat cent might be worth more than $2,400, so make sure you have the real deal by consulting a reputable authentication firm. In conclusion, collectors of Lincoln cents find great value in the 1914D wheat penny, which is treasured for its historical significance, limited mintage, and scarcity. When buying a coin for your collection, you should, as with any collectible item, carefully consider its authenticity and condition. I have information for you today regarding the Silver Washington Quarter from 1943S. Coins like the 1943S Silver Washington Quarter are valuable collectibles and have historical significance. At one point, the 1943S Silver Quarter was ranked as the second best coin roll issued by the Mint during the 1950s. Many of the current specimens of gems came from those rolls. Coins with a grade of one, the worst possible are worth more than those in circulating condition. In comparison, coins graded 2 to 35 are worth $8 to $9, whereas these are just about $26. Here are some details about this particular quarter. 1. Year of mintage. 1943 saw the coin's issuance. 2. Mint mark. The coin was struck at the San Francisco Mint, as shown by the S mint mark. 3. Composition. 90% silver and 10% copper make up the 1943S Washington Quarter. Due to the necessities of World War II, silver was employed during this time to produce quarters. 4. Design. George Washington, the nation's first president, is shown in profile on the coins of verse, facing left. The inscriptions, United States of America, E Pluribus Unum, and quarter dollar are displayed on the reverse side of the image, which also has an eagle with its wings extended and holding an olive branch and arrows. 5. Value and collectability. Because of its relative scarcity, historical relevance, and silver content, collectors are drawn to the 1943S Silver Washington Quarter. Its condition, uniqueness, and collector's desire all affect its worth. 6. Condition. The 1943S Silver Washington Quarter's value is impacted by its state, much like the value of any coin. Coins with less wear or in mint state, uncirculated, 
are typically prized by collectors. 7. Market Collectors and numismatists have a lively market for Washington quarters, particularly those that include silver. The condition of the 1,943S silver Washington quarter and the level of demand for this particular coin will determine its price. Gems start at $1.75 and prices start at $1.28 in immaculate condition. The best of the best is a single coin with an MS-68 grade that is worth $23,500 according to PCGs. It is advised to speak with a numismatic specialist or study reliable numismatic resources and price guides if you possess a 1,943S silver Washington quarter and would like to know its exact value. Furthermore, current sales and market patterns for this coin can be gleaned via online coin marketplaces and auction sites. I'm going to be providing you with information regarding the double die obverse of the 1,974D Kennedy half dollar. Collectors prize the exceptional variant of the 1,974D Kennedy half dollar with a double die obverse for its unique characteristics. Here are some details on this coin. Year of mintage. The Denver Mint struck the coin in 1974. Double die. Obverse. This variation features the coin's obverse sides design elements doubled. A doubling effect is produced on specific design elements when the die strikes the coin twice during the minting process, slightly out of alignment. Design. Gilroy Roberts created a portrait of President John F. Kennedy facing left on the coin's obverse. The presidential coat of arms, created by Frank Gasparro, features an olive branch, shield, and bundle of arrows on the back. Value and collectability. Because of its unusual appearance, collectors seek out the 1,974D Kennedy half dollar with double die obverse greatly. Condition, the degree of doubling, rarity, and collector demand are some of the variables that affect its value. Condition. The condition of the 1,974D Kennedy half dollar with double die obverse affects its value, just like it does with any other coin. Coins that are in mint state, uncirculated, or have very little wear are usually more valuable. Market. Numismatists and collectors have a thriving market for mistake coins, particularly those with double die variants. The grade, degree of doubling, and general attractiveness of the coin can all affect price. Some Kennedy half dollars from the Denver Mint had another glaring double die error 10 years after the first ones were produced. It is also the only significant double die variation available in the Kennedy half dollar series as a whole. Once more, the motto, In God We Trust, best illustrates the doubling. In the finer grades, the value of a circulated 1974 Denver half dollar with this defect is essentially the same. The PCGs values a sample graded extremely fine 40 at $1.28. Additionally, one graded 58 plus and near the top of the about uncirculated band is only $1.6 more valuable. In this instance, the cost of an independent certification is probably not worth it, even though it will raise the amount collectors are ready to pay. By definition, a coin that ends up in your pocket change is in circulation. Its maximum price will therefore be less than $1.40 unless it is exceptional for some other reason, being struck on the incorrect planche, for instance. This amount is the same as what PCGs charges for their standard coin grading service, plus additional shipping costs. See a respectable coin dealer or numismatic specialist if you possess a 1,974D Kennedy half dollar with double die averse and would like to know how much it is worth. In addition to assessing the coin's value based on its condition and the current market demand for error coins, they can offer more details. Additionally, information about current sales and price patterns for this variety may be found on online coin marketplaces and auction sites. I have some information for you today regarding the 1,945S Silver Washington Quarter. The 1,945S Silver Washington Quarter is a coin that was produced in a time when 90% silver and 10% copper were used to make U.S. quarters. Here are some details on this specific coin. 1945 marked the year of the coin's minting. Mint mark. The piece was struck at the San Francisco Mint, as indicated by the S mint mark. 90% silver and 10% copper make up the 1,945 S Washington Quarters composition. This design was typical for U.S. quarters produced before to 1965. Design, George Washington, the nation's first president, is seen in a portrait facing left on the coin's obverse. On the back is a design by John Flanagan that features a heraldic eagle holding an olive branch and arrows with its wings spread. Value and Collectability 
Because of its historical significance and silver content, collectors prize the 1,945S Silver Washington Quarter. Conditions, rarity, and collector demand are some of the variables that affect its value. Condition. The 1,945S. Silver Washington Quarter's value is affected by its state, much like the value of any coin. Coins with little to no wear or in mint state, uncirculated condition, are usually more valuable. Market. Silver Washington Quarters, particularly the 1,945S form, are highly sought after by collectors and numismatists. Prices could vary. Market. Collectors and numismatists have a lively market for silver Washington quarters, especially the 1,945S version. A coin's grade, rarity, and general attractiveness can all affect its price. The 1945 San Francisco quarter's values, when in circulated condition, range from $6 to $9, just like the majority of other 1940s quarters. Coins with gem quality start at about $35. However, the best recognized examples will cost significantly more. The PCGs has rated 27 coins at MS67+. They are approximately $1,750 a piece. And the best of the best are these three MS68 graded specimens, each worth $25,000. See a coin dealer or numismatic specialist if you have a 1,945S Silver Washington quarter and would like to know more about its precise worth. They may be able to help you assess your coin and provide you more details. Online coin stores and auction sites might also provide information on previous transactions and market patterns for this particular coin. I'm going to tell you about the 2000p Maryland State Quarter that has a Sacagawea dollar, a unique and uncommon mistake coin that blends characteristics of two distinct coin series is the 2000p Maryland State Quarter muled with Sacagawea dollar. Here is a thorough description of this exceptional numismatic treasure. Context. In 1999, the United States Mint introduced the 50 State Quarters Program, honoring each of the 50 states with a distinct design on the quarter dollar coin's reverse, rear. The Sacagawea Dollar Series was launched in 2000 as a tribute to the Shoshone Lady Sacagawea, who was instrumental in the Lewis and Clark expedition. Mintage. A minting error at the Philadelphia Mint produced the 2000p Maryland State Quarter muled with Sacagawea dollar, an erroneous coin. During the minting process, a Maryland State Quarter die was mistakenly matched with a Sacagawea dollar reverse die, producing a coin that featured both the quarter's obverse, front, and the dollar's reverse. Design The coin's obverse showcases the recognizable likeness of President George Washington, which is present on every quarter dollar in the United States. On the reverse of the coin, however, is the soaring eagle design from the Sacagawea dollar series, rather than the conventional eagle reverse of the quarter. Composition. The 2000p Maryland State Quarter, muled with Sacagawea. Dollar is made up of 8.33% nickel and 91.67% copper, just like other Washington quarters from the same era. In contrast, the Sacagawea dollar is made of an alloy of copper, zinc, manganese, and nickel that has a golden hue. Value. Because of its scarcity and distinctiveness, the 2000p Maryland State Quarter, muled with Sacagawea. Dollar is a highly sought-after mistake coin among collectors. Such an erroneous coin's value can vary greatly depending on a number of factors, including market demand, condition, and general collector appeal. However, it usually fetches a premium in the numismatic market because of its rarity and the novelty of fusing two different currency series. Interest from collectors. Due to their unusualness and scarcity, error coins such as the 2000p Maryland State Quarter muled with Sacagawea dollar have a unique appeal to collectors. Error coin collectors and fans of the Sacagawea dollar series and state quarters program frequently look for these unusual examples to add to their collections. Because each coin is unique in terms of its thickness, diameter, and metal composition, planché sheets are put into a blanking machine and punched into tiny circles. Each planché has the designated design transferred onto it by at least one striking of the corresponding obverse and reverse dies. Coinage, State Quarters Mint, Year 2000 Mark, The City of Philadelphia. Error, Mule, Sacagawea Dollar Reverse with Maryland Quarter, Obverse Classification, MS67. Sale date, March 21, 2018. Cost, $192,000. Coin errors can occur from using the incorrect die on the incorrect planche, improper stamping of the impression, 
incomplete planches, etc. Occasionally, a die error occurs, which then transfers to every coin produced with that same defective die. In conclusion, a minting error at the Philadelphia Mint produced the intriguing and extremely rare 2000p Maryland State Quarter muled with Sacagawea dollar error coin. Because it combines components from two distinct coin series, numismatists and error coin collectors view it as an uncommon and valuable find. I'm here to share with you some information regarding the 1891 Seated Liberty Quarter with a missing date. Collectors value the 1891 Seated Liberty Quarter with a misplaced date, MPD, for its unique defect, making it a noteworthy variation. An extensive synopsis of this curious piece of numisma is provided below. Background. From 1838 until 1891, the United States Mint produced the Seated Liberty Quarter. On the front is an image of Liberty sitting on a rock and on the back is a heraldic eagle. When there is a noticeable displacement in the date digits from their original position, it is referred to as the misplaced date variation. Misplaced date, MPD. Variety. This kind of mint fault occurs when one or more of the date's digits are struck in a location that differs from their intended placement. This variation of the 1891 seated Liberty Quarter is distinguished by the date's digits being noticeably transposed or doubled resulting in a clear and unmistakable mistake. Mintage. The Philadelphia Mint produced the 1891 Seated Liberty Quarter. Although the precise mintage numbers for the misplaced date variation are not easily accessible, it is known that a sizable quantity of quarters were produced in that year, which helped to make this erroneous variety available. Composition. The 1891 coin is made up of 90% silver and 10% copper, same like other vintage Seated Liberty Quarters. It weighs about 6.25 grams and measures about 24.3 millimeters in diameter. Value. An 1891 seated Liberty Quarter with a missing date may be worth more or less depending on the condition, degree of inaccuracy, and level of collector demand. A noticeable and well-defined error in an uncirculated coin usually fetches a higher price since error variety fans find these coins rare and desirable. Interest from collectors. Among error coin and seated liberty coinage collectors, the misplaced date variation of the 1891 seated liberty quarter is very popular. For collectors looking to add unusual specimens to their collections, this type is highly sought after due to its distinctive mistake and relative scarcity. A portion of the coating of coins that are clad may be absent, resulting in a two tone coin. Mint mistakes can also be caused by the die itself. An overstrike, off-center or overlapping multi-strike results from movement of the die or planche between strikes. Part of the impression extends beyond the collar of the coin. Year, 1891. Series, Seated Liberty Mint. Mark, None, Philadelphia. Error, misplaced date grade, MS64. Date of sale, the 2nd of August, 2017. Price, $1,058. However, an outside object could slip in between the die and the planche and leave evidence of its presence on the finished coin. It results in a strike-through. If you can locate and identify the initial contaminant that caused the error, that information can be very important. In conclusion, collectors value the 1891 seated Liberty Quarter with a misplaced date for its unique mint fault and historical relevance. It is an intriguing variety. A intriguing addition to any collection of seated Liberty Quarters or error coins, its visibility to the unaided eye and relative scarcity add to its attractiveness as a collectible currency. That's all I have to say for now. I sincerely hope you find the training useful. It is with great pleasure that I present to you today the 2009D District of Columbia Double Die Reverse DDR Quarter. One of the more popular varieties among collectors is the 2009D District of Columbia Double Die Reverse DDR Quarter, which is valued for its unique doubling defect. An extensive synopsis of this curious piece of numisma is provided below. Context. The 50 State Quarters Program, which was implemented by the U.S. Mint from 1999 to 2008, includes the District of Columbia Quarter. Through this scheme, the reverse behind of the quarter dollar coin featured a special design honoring each of the 50 states. Continuing this tradition, the 2009 series, also referred to as the District of Columbia and U.S. Territories Quarters, featured designs that symbolize the District of Columbia as well as the five U.S. Territories. Mintage. The Denver Mint in Colorado produced the 2009D District of Columbia Double Die Reverse Quarter. It is unknown how many of this specific variant were minted, 
its estimated low mintage in relation to the overall 2009D District of Columbia quarters adds to its rarity and collector's desire. Double Die Reverse, DDR. This issue happens when a coin's reverse design gets doubled during the minting process. The 2009D District of Columbia DDR quarter has a distinctive and visually arresting mistake wherein certain design components, such images or typography, seem to be warped or doubled. Identification. By closely scrutinizing the design details on the reverse of the coin, it is possible to identify the double die reverse on the 2009D District of Columbia quarter with the naked eye. It will be easy to see that the design is doubled or distorted, setting it out from the regular coins in the series. Like other quarters from the era, the 2009D District of Columbia DDR quarter is made of clad composition, with a pure copper core and exterior layers made of 25% nickel and 75% copper. It weighs roughly 5.67 grams and has a diameter of 24.26 millimeters. Worth, a 2009D District of Columbia DDR quarter's worth varies according to factors like demand among collectors, the degree of the doubling error, and its condition. Because they are rare and more desirable, uncirculated coins with a noticeable and obvious DDR fault fetch higher prices. Interest from collectors. Among error coin collectors and state quarters program fans, the 2009D District of Columbia DDR quarter is very appealing. For collectors looking to add special specimens to their collections, this type is highly sought for due to its unusual double die reversal error and relative scarcity. There are several varieties of planche-based errors that Mint makes. A coin could be struck on the incorrect metal blank, such as a clad coin struck on a planche made of gold or silver. Alternatively, it might be struck on the incorrect size and denomination, for example, a nickel on a blank half dollar. Year 2009. Series DC and Territories Mint. Mark. Denver. Error. Double die reverse. Grade MS66 date of sale, the 10th of July 2014 price. $3,055. In conclusion, collectors value the 2009D District of Columbia Double Die Reverse Quarter for its unique mistake and historical relevance, making it a significant variety. Because of its apparent scarcity and visibility to the unaided eye, this coin is highly sought after as a collectible and an intriguing addition to any collection of numismatics. And that's it for today. I hope you found the training useful. I have information regarding the 1,843 seated Liberty Dime for you today. Collectors prize the 1,843 O-seated Liberty Dime greatly, especially when it comes in Mint State 66, MS 66 grade, which denotes exceptional preservation and aesthetic appeal. Here is a thorough description of this priceless numismatic asset. Background. The United States Mint produced the seated Liberty Dime between 1837 and 1891. On the obverse is a picture of Liberty sitting on a rock, while on the reverse is a wreath. The Louisiana New Orleans Mint produced the 1843 O issue. The coin with a Mint State 66, MS 66 grade, is in excellent mint condition, showing no signs of wear and retaining its original mint brilliance. This grade of coin is distinguished by few surface blemishes, vivid shine, and crisp strike detail. Collectors find a seated Liberty Dime rated MS 66 to be in remarkable shape and quite desirable. Mintage it is difficult to find the precise mintage number for the 1,843-0 seated Liberty Dime. Nonetheless, it is well known that the New Orleans Mint produced a sizable quantity of dimes at this time to satisfy the southern United States' demand for circulating coinage. Composition The 1,843-0 coin is made up of 90% silver and 10% copper, same like other vintage seated Liberty Dimes. It weighs about 2.49 grams and measures about 17.9 millimeters in diameter. Value. An 1,843-0 seated Liberty Dime graded MS-66 can have a range of values depending on demand from collectors, condition, and aesthetic appeal. Because they are uncommon and in great demand, coins in this grade fetch hefty premiums above counterparts in lower grades. Collector Interest. Collectors of high-grade numismatic specimens and seated Liberty coinage find great interest in the 1,843-0 seated Liberty dime in MS-66 grade. A valued addition to any advanced collection of dimes or 19th-century U.S. coins, it is rare and in excellent form, adding historical relevance to the collection.
The obverse of the dimes minted between 1837 and 1891 features a picture of a seated Lady Liberty. They are also known as seated Liberty or Liberty seated dime because of this. The mint in New Orleans produced a lot fewer dimes in 1843 than it had in prior years. From 2 million in 1842 to merely 150,000 in 1843, the mintage decreased. For the remainder of the decade, it remained low. Only 201,843 dimes are thought to remain today, the great majority of which are in circulated grades. Due to their scarcity, these coins are highly sought after by collectors. Nonetheless, a coin in the worst condition, rated 2, may be purchased for approximately $200. On the other hand, mint state coins constitute a distinct class. There are just four known in existence, the best being a single coin graded MS-66. When that cent was previously put up for auction, it brought in $29,700. These days, the PCGs, an independent coin grader, values it at more than $250,000. To sum up, the 1,843-O seated Liberty Dime in MS-66 grade is an extremely rare and valuable piece of numismatic art due to its exceptional quality, historical relevance, and scarcity. This iconic coin continues to pique the interest of numismatists worldwide, whether it is used as the focal point of a collection or as a highly valued property. That's all I have to say for now. I hope you found the training useful. Please remember to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Your information regarding the 1955 Full Bell Line Franklin Half Dollar is what I have for you today. Due to its Full Bell Lines, FBL classification, which denotes a firm and complete separation of the horizontal lines on the reverse of the coin displaying the Liberty Bell design, the 1955 Full Bell Line Franklin Half Dollar is highly sought after by collectors. Here is a thorough description of this priceless numismatic asset. Background. From 1948 until 1963, the John R. Sinek designed Franklin Half Dollar was produced. On the obverse is a picture of Benjamin Franklin, one of the founding fathers, and on the reverse is the Liberty Bell. Year of Issue The 1955 Full Bell Line Franklin Half Dollar had considerable mintages at several mint locations and was struck in the midst of the series. A sharp strike is indicated by the Full Bell Line's designation especially on the reverse where the Liberty Bell's lines are completely split. Full Bell Lines, FBL, designation. On the back of the coin, there are complete, uninterrupted horizontal lines that run across the bottom of the Liberty Bell. Due to its higher strike quality and visual appeal, collectors highly prize coins with fully defined lines. Composition. The 1955 Franklin Half Dollar is made up of 90% silver and 10% copper, just like other half dollars from that era. It weighs about 12.5 grams and has a diameter of 30.6 millimeters. Value, a 1955 full bell line. Franklin half dollar's worth varies according to its mint mark, condition, and collector's demand. Because they are rare and desirable, uncirculated coins with full bell lines fetch higher prices. Collector interest. Because it is a mid-series currency and has the full bell lines classification, the 1955 full bell line Franklin half dollar is very popular among collectors. For numismatists and coin lovers, possessing a well-preserved copy of this coin with crisp strike detail is a source of pride. In 1976, the bell was relocated from Independence Hall to Independence Mall. In 2003, it made its final settlement at Liberty Bell Center. Additionally, the city of Philadelphia had an earlier bell hung on a tree when it arrived. However, they ordered this new clangor to go along with the official bell tower they completed in 1751. The Pennsylvania State House was home to two large bells by the end of 1752. Year, 1955, Mint Mark Nunn, Philadelphia, Grade, MS-67, FBL Date of Sale, the 6th of January 2016. Price, $14,100. This is where things get a little hazy. During the Revolutionary War, one bell was shielded from the Redcoats, British soldiers, by protective covering. This occurred in 1777, and the bell reappeared in 1785. When the state capital moved to Lancaster in 1799, the city of Philadelphia purchased one bell. However, when the church was attacked, the second bell that was sold to St. Augustine's burnt and had to be rebuilt. As a result of its crisp strike, Full Bell Lines designation and historical significance within the Franklin Half Dollar series 
The 1955 Full Bell Line Franklin Half Dollar is highly sought after by collectors. When purchasing a coin for your collection, you should, as with any collectible coin, thoroughly evaluate its authenticity and condition. This concludes our session for today. I'm going to share some facts with you today regarding the 1948 Full Bell Line Franklin Half Dollar. Due to its Full Bell Line's FBL classification, which denotes a firm and complete separation of the horizontal lines on the reverse of the coin displaying the Liberty Bell design, the 1948 Full Bell Line Franklin Half Dollar is highly sought after by collectors. Here is a thorough description of this priceless numismatic asset. Background. From 1948 until 1963, the John R. Sinek designed Franklin Half Dollar was produced. On the obverse is a picture of Benjamin Franklin, one of the founding fathers, and on the reverse is the Liberty Bell, mintage. Several mint sites had notable mintages of the 1948 Full Bell Line Franklin Half Dollar, which was struck in the inaugural year of the series. Particularly on the reverse, where the lines on the Liberty Bell are completely split, the Full Bell Line's description denotes a sharp strike, complete and uninterrupted horizontal lines that cross the base of the Liberty Bell on the coin's reverse, are referred to as the Full Bell Lines, FBL mark. Because of its exceptional strike quality and visual attractiveness, collectors prize coins with perfectly defined lines. Composition. The 1948 Franklin Half Dollar is made up of 90% silver and 10% copper, just like other half dollars from the same era. It weighs about 12.5 grams and has a diameter of 30.6 millimeters. Value. A 1948 Full Bell Line. Franklin Half Dollar's worth varies according to its mint mark, condition, and collector's demand. Because they are rare and desirable, uncirculated coins with full bell lines fetch higher prices. Collector interest. Because it is the inaugural year of the series and has the full bell lines designation, the 1948 full bell line Franklin Half Dollar is quite popular among collectors. For numismatists and coin lovers, possessing a well-preserved copy of this coin with crisp strike detail is a source of pride. The Liberation story is, interestingly enough, a story of four bells. Ordered in 1751, the first one came the following year. However, Speaker of the Pennsylvania Assembly Isaac Norris ordered a second one from London after the two Johns, Pass and Stowe, fixed it twice. Even though this more recent bell fractured, the tower clock appropriately installed it. Silently, the ancient bell was consigned to service. Year, 1948. Mint mark, none, Philadelphia. Grade, MS-67. FBL date of sale, the 30th of July, 2003. Price, $28,750. The bell is currently housed in the Liberty Bell Center, a structure located within the Independence National Historical Park. The Independence Hall, once the Pennsylvania State House, is located across the street from it. It was known as the Old State House Bell until 1835 because of its original placement. Abolitionists changed the title for their anti-slavery campaigns by adapting a biblical quote. As the first year of the Franklin Half Dollar series, the 1948 Full Bell Line Franklin Half Dollar is highly sought after by collectors because to its crisp strike, Full Bell Line's designation, and historical significance. When purchasing a coin for your collection, you should, as with any collectible coin, thoroughly evaluate its authenticity and condition. Before you begin, be sure you ring the bell and subscribe to ensure you don't miss any upcoming videos. The 1963D Silver Washington Quarter is a quarter coin made in the United States that was produced in 1963 at the Denver Mint, the D Mint Mark. Here is pertinent data regarding its currency. Coin minting year, 1963 saw the coin's issuance. Silver is used in the composition of this coin. Prior to 1965, 90% of the silver and 10% of the copper content of Washington quarters gave them an inherent value dependent on the price of silver. Design. The coin's reverse depicts a bald eagle with its wings outstretched perched atop a laurel branch, while the obverse depicts the profile of George Washington, the country's first president. The Washington Quarter series shares this design. Regular strike. Rather than being a special edition or proof version, the coin was struck as part of the Denver Mint's routine output. Value. A 1963D silver Washington quarter may be worth more or less depending on the numismatic market, its condition, and its rarity. 
In addition to the numismatic value derived from their age and condition, pre-1965 silver coins usually have inherent worth because of the silver content. The coin's worth may change over time, so it's best to get an assessment from a numismatist. Look up previous sales prices at numismatic auctions, or use internet resources that specialize in selling collector coins. Determine the exact worth of your money. Laura Garden Fraser became victorious in the coin design competition organized by the committee and the mint. She married renowned sculptor James Earl Fraser, who had previously taught her painting. Among his many accomplishments was the design of the Buffalo Nickel. 1962 is the year Washington Neighborhood Series Denver Mint Mark Classification, MS-68. Date of sale, August 31, 2022. Amount paid, $24,000. Laura was well known for her sculptures. Along with her husband, she developed the Oregon Trail Memorial Half Dollar in 1926 and worked on numerous other coins and medals. However, Washington's winning sculpture of her was pushed down on the coin for an unknown cause. The coin's worth may change over time, so it's best to get an assessment from a numismatist. Look up previous sales prices at numismatic auctions or use internet resources that specialize in selling collector coins. This United States quarter from 1972 is a member of the 25-cent coin series, which is also referred to as the Washington quarter. You may find more details about this money here. Obverse, primary face. The portrait of George Washington, the country's first president, is displayed on the obverse. The designer of this design, John Flanagan, debuted it in 1932. Reverse back. The 1972 quarter's reverse usually shows a bald eagle in flight with the words E Pluribus Unum and the denomination Quarter Dollar surrounding it. Jack L. R. was the designer of this. The 1972 quarters were made of an alloy consisting of 8.33% nickel and 91.67% copper. Mint. The mint letter is located close to the bottom edge on the reverse of the coin. The mint of origin is indicated by the letters P for Philadelphia, D for Denver and S for San Francisco. Additional information. The quarters weigh 5.67 grams and have a diameter of 24.26 mm. The degree of conservation, rarity, and demand for it in the numismatic market can all affect its individual worth. For a more precise estimate of the worth of your 1972 quarter, I would suggest speaking with a numismatist or using websites that specialize in appraising historic coins. A 1972 quarter's worth might change based on its rarity, condition, and demand in the numismatic market at the time of sale. Below is a broad approximation of a 1972 quarter's value under various scenarios. Circulated, uncirculated. The amount may vary slightly from the 25 cent face value. Excellent, possibly near face value, while some collectors might spend a little bit extra. Extra fine, fine. In good condition, it may be slightly more valuable than the stated amount. Uncirculated. Depending on their quality and the existence of minting flaws or other unique characteristics, these coins may be worth more to collectors. In order to acquire a more precise assessment of the worth of your 1972 quarter, I suggest speaking with a numismatist or utilizing internet services that specialize in appraising historical coins. Additionally, you can look for recent auction prices online or at your neighborhood coin shops. Coined in 1966, this related Washington quarter has a value of $21,000 and a state of preservation grade of MS-68+. Key information about this coin is as follows. Year of Mint, 1966, saw the issuance of the coin. Washington quarter coded, the first national park named after a neighborhood was established in Washington, D.C., and this coin honors that achievement. Condition grade. The coin has a very high degree of preservation, almost perfect, as indicated by the MS-68 Plus grade. Because of their unusually well-preserved state, collectors place a high value on highly graded coins such as these. Value. The $21,000 value represents the coin's expected selling price on the numismatic market. This value is determined by the condition rating in particular, market demand, and rarity. Coins with excellent grades and conditions frequently fetch greater prices in private sales and auctions. It is crucial to remember that costs might change based on a number of variables, including market demand and particular currency circumstances. When assessing the coin's actual value, its validity and authentication are also very important. To acquire an accurate evaluation and guarantee a secure and equitable transaction, 
it is recommended that you consult with a respected auction house or a professional numismatist if you are thinking about buying or selling this coin. The 1980 quarter is a member of the Washington Quarter Coin Series made by the United States. Here are some details on this coin. Obverse. Primary face. The portrait of George Washington, the country's first president, is displayed on the obverse. Commemorating the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth, this design was first used on quarters in 1932. Reverse. Back. The 1980 quarters reverses show an American bald eagle in flight with the words United States of America and E Pluribus Unum surrounding it. For many years, this design has been a standard in quarters. Composition. The main constituents of the 1980 quarters were 8.33% nickel and 91.67% copper. Mint. On the reverse of the coin, close to the lower border, are the mint letters. The mint of origin is indicated by the letters P for Philadelphia, D for Denver, and S for San Francisco. Additional information. The quarters weigh 5.67 grams and have a diameter of 24.26 mm. A 1980 quarter's sales price might differ based on a number of variables, such as its condition, rarity, market demand, and unique qualities. Here are a few things to think about. Shape. Quarters that are in outstanding vintage shape or mint, uncirculated condition, are usually worth more than those that have evidence of circulation wear. Variations in rarity. Collectors may find more value in 1980 quarters with unique features, minting mistakes, or other variations. Retail value of these varieties could be influenced by market demand and rarity. Market desire. The selling price of a 1980 quarter can be influenced by market availability and collector desire. You are probably going to obtain more for your coin if there is a lot of demand for particular features or versions. Sales channel. The price of your quarter may also be impacted by the way you want to sell it. You can sell your quarter at numismatic fairs, numismatic auctions, specialty coin shops, and internet coin sales platforms. Numismatic value versus intrinsic worth. Although the quarter has a face value of 25 cents, its numismatic value could be higher based on the previously listed variables. I would advise you to look into current sales prices of comparable coins on the market or speak with a qualified numismatist in order to receive an accurate appraisal of the value of your 1980 quarter. Online resources with a focus on ancient coin valuation are another option. The United States Quarter from 1984 is a member of the Washington Quarter Coin Series. You may find more details about this money here. Obverse. Primary face. The portrait of George Washington, the country's first president, is displayed on the obverse. Since its introduction in 1932 to honor Washington's bicentennial, this design has been found on quarters. Reverse. Back. The 1984 quarters reverse design depicts an American bald eagle in flight above an olive branch. It also has the words quarter dollar and United States of America, along with the motto E Pluribus Unum. Composition. The main constituents of the 1984 quarters were 8.33% nickel and 91.67% copper. When the quarters were redesigned in 1965, the silver content was replaced with a cupro-nickel alloy. Mint. On the reverse of the coin, close to the lower border, are the mint letters. The mint of origin is indicated by the letters P, Philadelphia, D, Denver, S, San Francisco, and W, West Point. Additional information. The quarters weigh 5.67 grams, and have a diameter of 24.26 mm. Congress established formal committees in 1924 and 1930 to organize the Washington Bicentennial celebrations. George Washington, one of the founding fathers and the country's first president, was born 200 years ago on this historic day. There was demand for a commemorative coin, 1984. Washington Neighborhood Series Philadelphia Mintmark Classification, MS67 Date of Sale. The 4th of February, 2016. Cost, $1,293. However, the government was losing too much money on celebration coins at the time, so Herbert Hoover, the president at the time, blocked the proposal. Rather, the opposing factions agreed upon a medium of exchange. For a year, they settled on a quarter instead of the half dollar they had demanded. In terms of value, if 1984 quarters are in circulation, their face value is typically 25 cents. Coins in mint condition, unusual varieties, or errors in mintage, however, could be worth more to collectors. 
it is advisable that you seek the advice of a qualified numismatist or examine the market for comparable coins to receive an accurate appraisal of the value of your 1984 quarter. This will assist you in figuring out the coin's current value and obtaining the best deal. Gold coins worth thousands and thousands of dollars, three really rare Sacagawea dollar coins that were sold, for huge sums of money and something you should look out for right away. It is important to realize that these Sacagawea coins are not struck in gold, unlike what the general public believes. Because they are copper coins with a brass outer covering, they appear golden. It's true that the coin you're seeing on the screen sold for $84,000 according to NGC. It has been rated by an independent rating agency at AU $58. A state with almost no circulation is called AU. I got an AU rating as there were multiple coin cuts from mixing. That is why the value of your coin is greatly influenced by its condition. If you own rare coins, be sure to keep them instead of throwing them away. Now, the reason why this coin is so rare is explained by the fact that it is called a mule coin. Now, everyone knows what a mule is. The combination of two animals, a donkey and a horse, is the reason for this. One side of this coin features a presidential dollar, and the other side features a Sacagawea dollar. I'm not sure how this happened during the minting process. It's possible that a mint employee who ultimately knows for sure may have done this intentionally. It's challenging. Have faith in some individuals? In internet. However, you would be surprised if you came across a coin like this, as this Sacagawea dollar cost $144,000 and was purchased for $84,000 at auction. Looking at this from the back of the Sacagawea dollar, everything seems normal now. Elements 860.5 and higher was employed by PCJS to create this. The value of the coin will now increase dramatically with the grade plus label. However, this is all based on the coin's current highest rating. Like the previous coin, this is a mule, but on the obverse is a state coin. Therefore, a comparison between the two is necessary. Never combine the two. Unless they are in very good condition, most of the time your Julia dollar coins will only be worth a few dollars. Remember that other people will also try to replicate this. You can sell the bug for a lot of money online if you cut a coin in half, glue the pieces together solder the halves, and then paint the finished coin to make it look like a real bug. Why do independent companies like PCGs and NGC exist? They are essential for your hobby. You have to make sure you hold on. If you find even one point torn off and cheated, hold on tight to it and don't let go. Today I'm going to tell you about a coin that is much more valuable than it was when it was initially released. The quarter 2004 of a certain edition. Before you go, be sure to hit the bell and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. A particular variation of the Wisconsin State Quarter Dollar produced in 2004 at the Denver Mint is known as the 2004D Wisconsin Quarter Extra Leaf Low Business Strike. Here is pertinent data regarding this coin. Year of Mint. The Denver Mint struck the coin in 2004. Wisconsin Quarter's original design. As part of the United States Quarter Dollar series honoring all 50 states, the Wisconsin State Quarter Dollar is available. Reflecting the forestry and dairy industries of the state, the original design featured a scenario with lumberjacks and dairy products. Extra Leaf Low The term Extra Leaf Low designates a mistake in the coin's reverse corn leaf pattern. This variation has one extra corn husk at the bottom in instead of the standard two. Business Strike The label Business Strike denotes that these coins are not proof or unique commemorative pieces, rather, they were struck for general circulation. Rarity and value. Due to the coin's usage as legal cash and the design flaw that appears on it, collectors particularly prize it. The degree of conservation and market demand can have a substantial impact on this variant's worth. There are various reasons why this money is significant. It is the most widely utilized money in commerce for day-to-day -day transactions. 2004 State Barracks is the series Denver Mint Mark Error, Overly Short Leaf Classification, MS 67 Date of Sale, January 12, 2020, Amount Paid, $6,000. However, there's more symbolic significance to this 25-cent coin, which is equivalent to a quarter of a dollar, hence its namesake. Washington was the country's first president and is now regarded as one of the most well-liked. As a result, their coins are frequently used to honor significant figures and remember memorable occasions. 
The 2004 D. Wisconsin Quarter Extra Leaf Low Business Strike is one example of a coin with a mintage fault. These coins are valuable on the secondary market and are frequently collected by numismatic enthusiasts. For current information on the value and market demand of any coin you own, it is recommended that you consult a numismatist with experience or visit specialized websites for numismatic information. Spending the bicentennial quarters you see in this video would be a terrible idea because they sold for a ton of money. And the last thing I want is for you to mistakenly spend or sell one of these coins when they are genuinely quite valuable. Therefore, the first thing we must comprehend is that the U.S. Mint made five different varieties of bicentennial quarters. Recognize that when these coins were initially minted, people anticipated that they would be exceedingly uncommon and expensive. So, they started accumulating them in great numbers as a result of their actions. The U.S. government then did what? Simply put, they produced significantly more. The 1976 clad bicentennial quarter was one of the five different coin varieties that were available for these bicentennial quarters. The 1976 D-clad Bicentennial Quarter was given to you. The 1976 S-clad Proof Bicentennial, the 1976 S-Silver Bicentennial, and the 1976 S-Silver Proof Bicentennial Quarter are all available. There is a bit of a mouthful there due to the various types. However, when I mention SD or no mint mark, I'm referring to the location of the coin's manufacturing like the S mint mark on the coin you can see on the screen, which indicates that it was made in the San Francisco mint. Currently, this coin has a mint state 69 grade from PCGS. This coin is the silver version at the moment. This coin is not a proof. Proof coins occasionally have a higher value than regularly minted mint state coins like these. However, this is not the case in this instance. The coin would have brought more money had it been graded with the perfect grade of 70 cash other than dollar six thousand six hundred for this one tiny quarter there is simply still a ton of money this one is a clad washington quarter with a twin curved clip graded by pc jess at an au 55 i'll keep this short as you can see there is a naturally occurring mint air in the top right and bottom left this coin also bears the d mints mark the denver mints logo may be seen on the coins bottom right side in other words, someone was able to sell this coin for $1.57 because they found it and had it graded. But let's go on to the next coin, which costs $192. 1976, S silver, 25 cents double struck, and 180 degree rotated Washington quarters. This particular proof coin was produced by PCGS at a 64. I'll now demonstrate the distinction between a proof coin and a mid-state coin that is typically issued. Proof coins often have a glossy shine that is most noticeable in the background or field of the coin. Now don't mistake this for harm because it actually is an error. There are humans now. There, in an effort to make this appear to be happening, they will get two coins and strike them together. That is not the case with this 1976 S Bicentennial Quarter because PCGs, a third-party company, authenticated and graded the coin at Proof 64, allowing it to sell for $19.20. $6,600. This coin, which appears to be severely damaged, was evaluated by NGC at Proof 67, which is an incredibly high grade. In actuality, this is what transpired in this situation. Unintentionally, corn was struck on a cent coin. Because it is a 25 cents coin that is also on a one cent planche, some collectors will refer to this as a double denomination error. And by planche, I just mean the metal piece that is empty. You should keep your coin safe if you have one of these because this one sold for $6,600. If you have a coin with the S mint mark that is silver, a proof, and graded by PCJS at the 70 grade, it is worth much more than just 25 cents. Usually you would discover someone was able to turn a single 25 cents coin into $1.170 in a collection. Here is why this coin went for $2,500 on eBay. Therefore, you must exercise extreme caution when using eBay because many dishonest people are trying to con you. This could serve as an example. There are numerous sales when you look at these sold postings for bicentennial quarters. I'll demonstrate right away. A coin like this that has been in circulation has basically no motive to sell now. Just a lot of cash. When you notice many bids on an item, you may also be dubious. Because it was a buy it now listing, this one had no bids. But once again, gentlemen, this one sold for $2,500, even though the coin is only worth, in my opinion, 25 cents. 
you had to be really cautious. I want to show you this mistake I made with the pennies from the coin collection today. Denver Meat was represented by the Meat Mark DD on the 1956 Lincoln cent. Coins are composed of 95% copper, 5% tin, and 5% zinc. Weighing 3.11 grams, the right profile of Abraham Lincoln is surrounded by liberty to the right, a bow date to the left, and two wheat ears encircling the face value and inscription United States of America, the pluribus unum abau, below the date meat mark on the reverse. The condition of this penny is excellent. It features the most prevalent currency of the mid-era among coiners, a colored eye clash, also referred to as a railroad ream. These lights on western reams are doubling. We saw that Lincoln's profile had dye softness. The strike is not as crisp as it appears. And aside from this slanting mark of liberty, the obverse fields are nearly devoid of notable features. Between 2400S, where there is less reflectivity on this side of the coin, several dents are visible. One can see a braided, unborn surface on the reverse of a penny. Wheat, Ears and top portions of E Pluribus Unum are the areas where rubbed surfaces are most common. The United States of America exhibits warped, uneven surfaces simultaneously. The 1956 D Penny sales record was set in 2005, according to PCGS. Heritage Auctions sold Miss 67 General for $74,175. Exceptionally intense red gold toning and dazzling, glittering brilliance on both sides boldly struck. The red Lincoln scent struck by Philadelphia Mean, which indicates they 67 plus, is the most expensive 1956 penny overall. It has a bold struck appearance without any handling or carbon traces, and it has a vivid fire orange brilliance. Sold at 30 auctions on June 18, 2021, for $13,000 and $200. Remember that each coin is completely unique in terms of its condition and rarity, Therefore, they do not all have the same worth. That's why you should always inspect your coins in recognized locations before attempting to buy or sell them. Please click the bell and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the future videos. That's all I have to say for now.